All right, ladies and gentlemen, if we can get started, please. My name's Anthony Doyle. I'm your town moderator. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021, 7 p.m. I am going to call to order the annual town meeting for the town of Dalton. Uh, before I do that, I'd like to introduce the stage to you. Starting on my far right, we have Deb Mary, our town clerk. We have William Drosheen, I'm sorry. We have Jeff Noble, member of the Finance Committee. William Drosheen, the third chairman of the Finance Committee. We have Sandy Albano, our interim town manager, who is now our former town manager. We have our new town manager, Thomas Hutchison. To my left, we have Timothy Zessen. He is town council. And going down the line, we have, John, we have Robert Bishop, Jr., chairman of the select board. We have Joseph Diver, Mark Strout, Rob, uh, John Boyle, and Dan Esco. This meeting is being recorded. The procedure for the meeting is I will introduce an article. It will be moved by the appropriate party, and then we will open it up for discussion. Please, only one person speaking at a time when you're called upon to discuss an article. Please identify yourself by name and residential address. And before we get started with the official meeting, Mr. Bishop wants to say a few words. Good evening. This morning, our new town manager took the oath of office, and I just want to formally introduce him to the whole town. Tom, would you please stand up? Tom Hutchison. So stop by and see him when you get a chance. Thank you, Tom. And secondly, I really just want to recognize Sandy Albano's contributions to this. None of this would have happened tonight without her. She did two jobs. Sandy, I'd like to call you up for a second. We've got a couple little things for you. This is, some, this is something for you and Joe. Thank you so much. And that is something for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. For the record, I would note that the town warrant has been properly posted by Deanna Strout as constable by publishing the same at Dewey's Public House, Dalton Restaurant, Green Ridge Variety, Convenience, the Dalton General Store, the U.S. Post Office, Country Corner Package and Variety, and the Town Hall Bulletin Board, all dated as of April 22, 2021. Article 1. This will require a two-thirds vote. To see if the town will vote to authorize the select board to convey a parcel of town-owned land situated on View Street and be in Assessor's Map 109, Lot 140. Such conveyance to be for such consideration, which may be a nominal consideration, and upon such other terms and conditions as the select board deem advisable, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Bishop. I move the town vote to authorize the select board to convey a parcel of land on View Street as shown on Accessors Map 109, Lot 140, such conveyance to be such consideration which may be nominal consideration and upon such other terms and conditions as the select board deems advisable, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Second. Article 1 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed by saying no. Passes unanimously. Article two, to see if the town will vote to fix the maximum amounts that may be spent during fiscal year 2022 beginning on July 1, 2021 for the revolving funds established in town bylaws for certain departments, 
boards, committees, agencies, or officers in accordance with Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Droshin. I move the town vote to fix the maximum amount that may be spent during fiscal year 2022, beginning on July 1st, 2021, for the revolving funds established in town bylaws for certain departments, boards, committees, agencies, or officers in accordance with Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and one half as follows. Plumbing inspector, $15,000. Electrical inspector, $10,000. Tree warden, planning board, $5,000. Cemetery department, $2,500. Council on aging, transportation, $20,000. <coughs> Council on Aging Programs, $15,000. Cemetery Department, $5,000. Legal Advertising, $3,000. Parks Maintenance, $2,000. And Highway Department, Boom Mower, $9,000. Article 2 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Yes. Hold, hold on for the microphone, please. Thank you. Linda Call, 60 North Street, Unit 5. I'm just curious why there are two amounts for the cemetery department. Mr. Drosheen. Had, <laughs> had to refresh my memory. The, uh, the, the first $2,500 expenditure is for like overtime, like for set, uh, Saturday burials, things of that nature. Then the second one is for, for instance, gravestone maintenance, things of that nature that take place in the cemeteries. Does that answer your question? Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor of Article 2 signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes unanimously. Article 3, to see if the town will vote to adopt the schedule of compensation for elected officials for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2021, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Droshin. I move that the town vote to adopt the schedule of compensation for elected officials for fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2021 as follows. Moderator, $421. Town Clerk, $56,957. Select Board Chair, $4,929. Other Select Board Members, $3,922. Article 3 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed by saying no. Thank you. It passes unanimously. Article 4. To see if the town will vote to determine what sums of money the town will raise and appropriate, including appropriations from sewer user fees and to defray charges and expenses and debt service for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2021, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Droshin. I move that the amounts of money set forth in the printed report of the Finance Committee for fiscal year 2022 
and totaling $8,091,026 be appropriated for the several purposes therein itemized, each numbered item being considered as a separate appropriation and that the, and that the same be expended only for such purposes. Second. Article 4 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Yes, sir. Al. El Nato, Elaine Avenue. My question is, when we're talking about the sewer user fund, if you go to page five, we're transferring what looks like one in a, almost one and a quarter million dollars out of the sewer user fund. I'd like to know where all that money Al, Al, hold the uh, microphone closer, please, so we can, thank okay, you. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I want to question this based on the money we're supposedly transferring from the sewer user fund. On page five, Third section of articles down, the sewer user fund is going to be contributing almost one and a quarter million dollars. I'd like to know where that money came from in the sewer user fund, since the funds are supposed to be used for sewers and the, the fees that were charged by the Pittsfield Wastewater Treatment Facility. Thank you. Sewer, the sewer user fee, this, the capital money that you're talking about, and it's actually on page four, all of mine is on page four, down at the bottom, that, is, that sets up a sewer stabilization account. What that, if, for instance, I'll, I'll give an example, we had a, 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 a sewer line break over on Housatonic Street, and again, that's just an example. We would, we would have to go to this capital account to pay for that. So that's why we, we set this money aside. Generally, we put that money in from the, from the um, free cash that we have each year. So it's, it, it really doesn't, that particular one doesn't touch on the, on the tax rate or on the uh, sewer, sewer user fees. All the, the, the money that is spent in the sewer budget, and I can't remember the line item, but the, the money that's spent on the sewer budget and for the city of Pittsfield, that rests on the sewer user fees. So we, we have uh, two budgets for that. One, of course, for the city of Pittsfield contract of service, and the other for, for our, our DPW to go out and service things that are needed on the system. Does that answer your question, Al? I understand your explanation, but we also have a problem with our sewer system in Dalton in terms of water infiltration into the sewer system. So we're processing, Pittsfield is processing good water through the water, water uh, treatment plant, through the sewage treatment plant in Pittsfield. Okay, we all know that. So are you telling me that none of this one and a quarter million is going to be used for anything but sewers? Right. It's it's going to be it's going to be used. We, I, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Sandy, but we recently had a uh, a study done of our sewer lines. We're we're trying to figure out what kind of problems are beginning to crop up. That's part of this that we that we have worked on this year. So if we, that's what we're trying to find out is any water infiltration things of that nature. Hopefully that'll keep the bill the, that'll help keep our bills down when it comes time to when it comes times for our numbers from the city of Pittsfield. We've also done some things. We, we, we've also gotten the city of Pittsfield to give us information more in advance so that we've been able to keep this, these numbers down. We get their numbers in advance now so that we can, we can budget more accurately than we used to. It was kind of a roll of the dice before. Now it's no longer a roll of the dice. We, we for all intents and purposes, know what's coming. 
The other thing is, uh, I don't think we've received any requirements for all of their upgrades that they're about to do. I, I, I don't think any assessment has come our way for that at this point. Um, we so, don't know so when that's coming. It's the, that's all up to this. We're at the mercy of the city of Pittsfield when it comes to that. So all I need is a yes or no answer. This money is going to be used strictly for sewer projects. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Any other discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor of Article 4 signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes. Thank you. Article 5, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2021, a sum of money for the purpose of providing recreation and leisure time activities to the people of Dalton or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of money of $60,125 for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2021 the, for the purpose of providing recreation and leisure time activities to the people of Dalton. Second. Article 5 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none. All those, all those in favor of Article 5 signify by saying aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes unanimously. Article 6. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate a sum of money for the purpose of paying the town's share of the operating budget of the Central Berkshire Regional School District for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2021, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate $8,130,864 for the purpose of paying or for the purpose of paying the town's share of the operating budget of the Central Berkshire Regional School District for fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2021. Second. Article 6 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor of, favor of Article 6 signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes. Article 7, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate a sum of money for the purpose of paying the town's share of the transportation budget of the Central Berkshire Regional School District for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2021, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate. $453,885 for the purpose of paying the town's share of the transportation budget of the Central Berkshire Regional School District for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2021. Second. Article 7 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor of Article 7 signify by saying aye. Opposed by saying no. Thank you, it passes. Article 8, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate a sum of money for the purpose of paying the town's share of the capital budget for the Central Berkshire Regional School District for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2021, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate $1,366,667 for the purpose of paying the town's share of the capital budget of the Central Berkshire Regional School District for fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2021. Second. Article 8 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? 
Hearing none, seeing none. All those in favor of Article 8 signify by saying aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes. Article 9, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of money to the reserve fund account 132 for the fiscal year 2022 beginning July 1, 2021 or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to transfer $65,000 from free cash in the Treasury to account 132, the Reserve Fund, for the fiscal year beginning on July 1, 2021. Second. Article 9 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, saying none. All those in favor of Article 9 signify by saying aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes, thank you. Article 10, to see if the town will vote to transfer or appropriate from available sums of available funds a sum of money for the purposes of reducing the expected tax rate increase in the 2022 fiscal year or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to transfer $200,000 from free cash in the Treasury for the purpose of reducing the expected, the expected tax rate increase in the 2000, or yeah, 2022 fiscal year. Article 10 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor of Article 10 signify by saying aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes unanimously. Article 11, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and or transfer from available funds a sum of money to the reserve fund, account 132, for the remainder of fiscal year 2021 or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to take no action under this article. Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of taking no action signify by saying aye. Opposed by saying no. Thank you, passes unanimously. Article 12, to see if the town will vote to transfer and or appropriate from available funds a sum of money to each of the following stabilization funds, general stabilization fund, capital stabilization fund, litigation stabilization fund, and sewer stabilization fund, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to transfer $300,000 from free cash in the Treasury in the following amounts to the following stabilization funds. $100,000 to sewer stabilization, $50,000 to general stabilization, $50,000 to litigation stabilization, and $100,000 to capital stabilization. Second. Article 12 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor of Article 12 signify by saying aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes unanimously, thank you. Article 13, to see if the town will vote to transfer and or appropriate from available funds a sum of money to the other post-employment benefits liability trust fund to reduce the unfunded actuarial liability of health care and other post-employment benefits or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I 
I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $300,000 from free cash in the Treasury to the other Post-Employment Benefits Trust Fund for the purpose of reducing the unfunded actuarial liability of health care and other post-employment benefits. Second. Article 13 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, saying none, all those in favor of Article 13 signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes unanimously. Article 14. This requires a four-fifth vote. To see if the town will vote to authorize payment of unpaid bills of previous fiscal years pursuant to the requirements of Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 44, Section 64, or to take any other action in relation thereto. Mr. Drosheen. I move that the town vote to authorize payment of unpaid bills in the amount of $985 for two invoices for fiscal year 20 that were received after the formal end of the year. This action is pursuant to the requirements of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 64. Second. Article, Article 14 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none and seeing none, all those in favor of Article 14 signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed by saying no. Passes unanimously. Which meets the four-fifth requirement. Article 15. To see if the town will vote to recess until Monday, May 10, 2021, at 11 o'clock a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m., to meet in the Dalton Community House to choose and elect the following town of officers and the determination of such other matters as are by law required to be determined by ballot. One member of the select board for three years, one town clerk for three years, one moderator for one year, one member of the planning board for three years, one member of the Dalton Housing Authority for five years, one cemetery trustee for three years, two library trustees for three years, and four members of the finance committee for, four year, for three years. Mr. Drosheen. Before I make this motion, I'd like to say thank you to a few people that really worked hard on this budget this year, uh, primarily the finance committee. We went through nine meetings this year. Generally, it's four. It was a difficult year because we had, uh, we were spread quite thin within town halls. And I also want to take, thank Sandy for all the work that she did and, and also all the others that work in town hall to make this happen. But of all, above all, I'd like to thank the taxpayers of the town of Dalton for supporting all of these budgets that we've put out in front of you. Thank you very much. I move to see if the town will vote to recess until Monday, May 10th, 2021, at 11 o'clock a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. to meet in the town community house to choose and elect the following town officers in the, in the determination of such other matters as are, as are by law required to be determined by ballot. Second. The moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed by saying no. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This meeting is recessed.